Hey guys, what's up? So I've been getting a lot of requests for recipes. Today I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. It only requires four ingredients, a whisk, a bowl, and a stove. Cool apron is optional. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna grab a bowl. We're gonna grab a whisk, and then we're gonna grab some egg whites. These are plain egg whites. Muscle egg actually comes in different flavors, but whatever. We're gonna use plain egg whites because that's what most people have access to. If you go to the grocery store, you'll find it by the eggs. Not this brand, but any egg white will do, is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna take one cup of egg white. We are gonna take one tablespoon of coconut oil, or if you don't have coconut oil, you can use one tablespoon of a healthier version of a butter like a grass fed maybe. And also we are gonna use the organic coconut flour. Doesn't really have to be organic, but this one happens to be. I love coconut flour. It is low in carbs, high in fiber, and it just has this great texture to everything. It makes it thick. If you guys haven't tried it, you need to. And then also stevia to sweeten. You could also use Splenda or any other sweetener you have, but of course stevia is the best because it's all natural. Anyway, so let's get into it. Bowl, egg whites, okay? One cup, egg whites. Oh yeah, look at that. Heck yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> so we got one cup of egg whites, all right? This coconut butter is a little, uh, I gotta scrape a little bit here. I'm gonna have to heat this up a little bit to make it liquid. That should be good. So now we got it liquidified. So it's easier to pour into my little tablespoon. One tablespoon coconut oil. Boom, just like that. Score. Next, we have the coconut flour. Coconut flour is a little hard to find sometimes. You're not gonna get it at every grocery store, but it should be like at Whole Foods. It should be at the bigger grocery stores, but if you can't find it at the grocery store, get it online. I get a lot of stuff from like Amazon. It's pretty cheap, pretty convenient, gets there fast. So we're gonna use one fourth cup coconut flour in there, just like that. We're just gonna add some stevia in there. Then next, we use our whisk. Whiskey, whiskey. Now the thing about coconut flour is it will thicken, okay? So it might look a little watery right now, but just give it a few moments and it will really thicken up. Almost have to let it sit, let it whisk here, let it do its thing. Let it be friends with the egg whites. They're gonna be friends, they're gonna stick together and get thick. That's like a metaphor for like friendship. I don't know. I'm trying to sound, I'm trying to sound philosophical. I'm trying to give you more than just a recipe here is what I'm saying. Okay. Whiskey, whiskey. Now guys, I'm making this like the, the very low carb version, right? But you can also make this with protein powder. You can add smushed berries. You can get kind of creative with it, okay? So again, th these are just kind of like the plain ones, but we can also really jazz it up. And, I mean, if you like cinnamon too, you can put cinnamon there. That would be really nice. I've done that before. But I did realize not everyone likes cinnamon. All right, guys, and like I said, we can customize this however we want to. So I'm gonna put some vanilla extract in there, just like that. And as you can see, we're already getting thicker. Uh, we're gonna heat this pan up. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that was, I almost blew up the house. Okay, ooh, that smells like gas. Whoops. Let this heat up a little bit because we want to make sure it's nice and hot. I just kind of put it on the highest degree right now to get it to where it needs to be. But when it does get hot enough, we're gonna spray it with a little cooking oil so it doesn't stick. Let me open my drawer of spatulas here. Boom. Which spatula to choose? I don't know. This one's for big ones. This one should be good because we're actually gonna make these smaller. Because the smaller they are, the easier they are to turn. And not everyone has a huge pan either. Almost forgot. Gotta get the spoon. This should be good. So I can just kind of pour it on there. All right, so nice and hot. Wanna turn it down a little bit. Shaky, shaky. Boom. Let's hope that I don't get this apartment on fire. Yeah, so you wanna make these about, I don't know, the size of a baseball when you spoon them out. They're gonna be a lot easier to turn over that way. Nice. Now if I had a real pancake griddle, the long ones, it'd be a lot easier to, you know, put a whole bunch on, on a pan at once. But I'm just making like one serving size, so it's no big deal. But if you're trying to feed your whole friends, I suggest you get a, a griddle. Those things are awesome. I used to have one back in Ohio. 
You're gonna see here that they're gonna get cooked a little bit when they start bubbling and you can kind of tell when they'll get firm, so we'll give them just a moment. Let's check these bad boys. Oh, as you can see, I can get under it. I don't think it's quite ready yet, but let's see. Oh, told you, look at that. Just make it oh, look pretty, just like that. Once you're able to pick it up and it all kind of comes together, then it's ready to flip. So guys, these are gonna taste exactly like pancakes, but I think they taste better than pancakes. It has just a different texture to it, I would say. It's not as fluffy, it's more of a, a thicker texture, but I actually prefer it like this. But remember guys, it's a lot healthier than regular pancakes, and you're getting your fiber in, getting some protein if you add protein powder. Um, again, that's optional. These should be done. All right. Boom, boom, and here we go again. All right guys, well these should be ready to go and ready to eat. And I really like to top mine off with, called Walden Farms, and it's sugar-free pancake syrup. Um, any sugar-free pancake syrup would work, really, but I like to use this one because it's literally zero calories. Tastes pretty good. Yeah guys, that's how I like to eat mine. You can put more cinnamon on top. If you wanted to, you could put a little whipped cream on there. Um, not too much though, because that can get dangerous, but bon appetit. <laughs>